Hi STAT students. In this video I am going to show you um, how to make a bar graph and also a pie chart using SPSS. First, I've got a set of data about Kaplan students that's different than one that you're going to be using and I thought it would be interesting to look at the um, hair color of this particular class. Now, you'll notice that there's quite a few students. You can get the count on the site. So this particular class had 244 students in it. What I'm interested in, and I think I'm going to have to minimize it just so I can do that. You'll notice in SPSS you have a data view and a variable view. Since we're starting out in chapter one, or our first unit, I want to take it you to the variable view first because when you're in the variable view you can look at the different types of data that we're working with and when we're using a bar graph or a pie chart you want to make certain that you're using nominal data nominal are things that you can count so for example I can count the um, number of men and women. I can count how many people are have red hair, how many people have brown hair, etc. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead, I lost all my data, it is here. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to analyze, excuse me, graphs and chart builder and I'm going to reset. You can see I've been practicing a little bit. I am going to start off by making a bar graph. So I'm going to click over here on bar and you'll notice I get all the different um, types of bar graphs that I can make. For right now, let's go ahead and just do a simple bar graph. I just need to drag it here into that open area. And then I'm going to look over here at my variables and notice again how on the left you can see which ones are nominal. That's also something that is helpful for you. So that being said, let's go ahead and I was interested in their hair color. So I'm going to click on hair color and pull it down to my x-axis. What I'm going to get on my y-axis is my frequency or my count. Now, what you see here is just a picture. It's not the actual one for our um, what we're going to see. But I do want to go ahead and see if I want to add anything. For example, I could add a title to this graph. And I could say, I'll just call this hair color of a Kaplan class. And then I'll hit apply down here. And close and then I'll hit OK. Well once I've done that you could see that I've got my bar graph here. From this I could see that it looks like there's more brunettes than any any group. I can also see that I do have a couple of bald people in here. Red, gray, chemically altered, blonde, and black. So this is how you can make a bar graph using SPSS. Thanks and I'll make a different video for making a pie chart.